In what's being called good news for a White House under criticism for its immigration policies, illegal border crossings from Mexico into the U.S. fell in October following three months of increases. Border authorities releasing new data this week showing more than 188,000 arrests for illegal crossings in October, and that is down 14 percent from September. However, they also note that we're continuing to see the highest displacement of people globally since World War II. And just this week, border agents in the El Paso area intercepted 12 migrants who were being illegally smuggled through the city's storm drains. This comes as President Biden and Mexico's president met face to face to discuss tackling the massive number of migrants and fentanyl crossing into the U.S. News Nation correspondent Jorge Ventura is joining us live with more on this. Jorge. Yeah, Natasha, so for the month of October, border arrests uh, did go down. While it is a good trend for the Biden administration, the arrests and apprehensions levels still remain overall high. And we continue to hear stories like this one from the El Paso area, where Border Patrol agents intercepted 12 migrants who were being illegally smuggled through the city's storm drain. CBP noting that the El Paso drain system is complex and often transports toxic substances that pose serious health risks. The migrant crisis prompting President Biden and Mexican President President Andres Manuel López Obrador to meet in San Francisco Friday on the final day of the APEC summit, where they also pledged to work side by side to solve the problem. Both men speaking in glowing terms about their working relationship. We're working side by side to combat arms trafficking, to combat uh, tackle organized crime, and to address the opioid epidemic and including fentanyl. Enforcing our borders, increasing reparations, and opening a historic number of legal pathways for migrants. Progress needs to be made to address the migratory phenomenon. We're working on that jointly in coordination, and we wish to thank President Biden because he is the first president to, in recent times, in opening legal pathways for migration. The Mexican president's administration has also strongly condemning a proposed bill in Texas that would allow all police officers in the state to arrest migrants who enter the country illegally and give Texas judges the ability to order them to leave the United States. The Mexican official saying the Mexican government categorically rejects any measure that would allow local or state authorities to detain or deport Mexicans or other nationalities to Mexican soil. The Texas legislator has already given the final approval of the bill and Governor Greg Abbott is expected to sign it. Governor Greg Abbott also is going to be expecting former President Donald Trump in South Texas tomorrow. We are expecting that the Texas governor is set to endorse Trump for the 2024 race for the White House, Natasha. Okay, Jorge Ventura with that live report for us tonight. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.